Hello, in this video we're going to go over some maintenance for the Roomba vacuum cleaner by iRobot. We're going to do three main items which are the filter, side brushes, and extractor rollers. We're also going to go over some other basic maintenance. So give me a second to pull out the parts and we'll get started. Okay, now that we have all the pieces out, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the filter. First remove the uh, collector of dirt. This is normally where you empty the dirt into the trash. Okay. In order to access the filter, we have to press this little yellow line towards the arrow. Do that. Okay, inside here is the filter. The filter is removed by pulling this little yellow tab. And as you can see, that one's pretty clogged. We're going to replace that with a nice clean one. And that goes in the same way as the old one came out. Okay, so you put that side down. And you want to press this little silver tab up with the filter. So press that up and then the filter down. Okay. Once you have that incorrectly, the door is able to close. Push that down and click it. And we set that aside. Now we're going to work on replacing the extractor rollers. To access them, we're going to squeeze these two yellow uh, prongs together and lift up. Once this door is open, you're going to grab the rollers by the yellow end and slightly lift up with your finger. Once they're up a little bit, you just slide it away from the other end. And it comes right out. If you can tell there, there's usually a lot of hair build up there. And that's one of the reasons why we want to check this regularly. And I've also had these tear a little bit. So that's why another reason to replace these. Okay, these are also color coded. The front one is light color, light gray, and the back one is dark gray. Um, but there's other ways you can tell once we remove these. Go ahead and remove the light gray one. All right, now that those are removed, I'm going to take my uh, lightly damp cloth and clean out the inside of that area, making sure that there's no excess hair in there. All right, now as you can tell, there's a little guide here. This one is light gray, and here there's dark gray, and there's also shapes. Right here's a hexagon, and here is a square to help you put the correct roller in the right place. So here's the new rollers. There's a light gray one and dark gray one, and if you look at the ends, one is a hexagon and one is a square. Okay, now I'm going to start by putting in the light gray one. First you put the hexagon end into the slot and then line up the yellow. On the yellow end there's two little tabs that stick out. One, two, and those are going to lay flat like this once you have it in. So now I'm going to put the, the square one into the hole and I might have to turn it just a little bit and then it'll lay flat into there. Then you just take the cover and close it and push down in the middle and you should hear a click. Okay, now that's secure. Now we're going to focus on the side brush and one thing to note on this is the bottom has a hexagon shape, so when you're putting it on, you may have to move it slightly to get it to line up. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver and remove the old one. You may have to hold on to one of the arms so it doesn't spin as you unscrew it. Alright, now we replace it with a new one. Lining it up. Okay, it's on there. Let me screw it down. Okay. Just like that. 
now we'll be working on a little bit of general maintenance, uh, some basic cleaning to make sure everything uh, works smoothly. We're going to focus on the little guide wheel on the front here, and we're going to slowly pry that up with the flathead screwdriver. And sometimes it's easier to start with this side. You'll hear a little click. And that'll come out. And we want to check the ends for hair. There's usually big clumps of hair that build up there. And then we're going to wipe it down with our cloth. And check the socket for any hair or debris in there as well. Okay. Once that's clean, you're going to put the ovals so they're pointing up and down and push it down until you hear a click. In this case, two clicks. Next, you want to lightly dust off the recharging points and there's six sensors located around the Roomba that you want to gently brush off to make sure they're not blocked. Then we reassemble. Now that everything's put back together, we do a light dusting on the top of the Roomba and being sure to clean off the sensor in the front. Alright, that's how you do general maintenance on your Roomba vacuum cleaner by iRobot. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.